It's a good day. Uh, this is a diorama of a tank during Normandy landing. Uh, this model, this diorama is uh, from the brand De Agostini. So let's open the case. It is good because it comes with an acrylic case. So this is the Cromwell tank, picture of a Cromwell tank. And usually at the back uh, for the Agostini models, they have the specs here. Uh, that's the gun size, the crew, the weight, um, the secondary machine guns, two Bessa machine guns. And this is the armor actually. So the Cromwell is uh, a cruiser tank um, by the British, uh, named after uh, the, a known uh, leader during the English Civil War, uh, Oliver Cromwell. The principle for the cruiser tank is uh, you make the armor less so that the tank uh, can speed up and swarm the enemy and flank the enemy. The earlier cruiser tanks have light armor but this one uh, has up to 76 armor so it's quite thick but it runs, uh, it can run fast because of the Rolls-Royce engine, uh, it's improved Rolls-Royce engine. So it's quite uh, fast for a tank that has that armor actually. So let's look at the diorama. So basically this is a, a beach landing. So as you can see here, that would be the, the sea, the waves, uh, this is the sand. And there are five British soldiers uh, with this diorama. I think this one probably an officer and this one with a Bren gun, machine gun, and there's another soldier here, another one here, another one here, and you have a barrel. So I don't know why you have a barrel actually, you're not supposed to have a barrel. They could have put a, you know, a, an obstacle here like, um, like the, the metal beams, crisscross metal beams, eye beams uh, as a uh, obstacle so obviously uh, see here it's a Cromwell mark 4 tank 11th armored division Normandy France so I suppose this is during the D-Day landing uh, Cromwell just came in time actually it was uh, first used in 1944 so um, it's understandable that they use it on uh, during the daily la landing or the Operation Overlord. So the the Agostini has a Cromwell tank uh, without the diorama actually, and it's painted green. So one thing I have observed is just I, it is just a green tank. Then they painted it with brown so that it would look brown. And I think that's not a good thing. If uh, you have seen a Churchill tank by uh, Dragon Armor, that should be the, the color, that should be the, the, the brown color of this Cromwell tank. And this one, you can still see the green, uh, you know, the green finish and I think they just overlay a brown finish. So uh, it's, it's not good, it's not good. But here, uh, the tracks has a uh, brown paint job actually. It's like rusty. So the rusty look is not that good, but it's better than just having it a, a black, uh, no, black colored tracks actually. And the turret does turn but it's hard so be careful and the gun can be elevated this is the 75 millimeter gun and beside the gun there's a machine gun one of the best machine gun 
one of the best machine guns second armament and the other one is in front that's the machine gun so I believe the, the model is accurate the I only have comments on the finishing uh, it's not that good and here also one of the I have observed about the the Agostini models is their tracks you know you can see sometimes you can see the the joints you know they just uh, overlap it and glue it together but in other models like uh, Dragon Armor or Hobby Master you can see the track as it's like seamless actually you cannot see the joints and the tracks are weathered uh, I rarely find the uh, diorama uh, made by the Agostini so I, I believe that uh, this one is a, a good a good buy and of course it's this diorama is cheaper compared to uh, if you have dragon arm or uh, diorama or hobby master the diorama itself is good you know the the finishing the finishing of the the sand the sea well, it looks looks like that of the other leading brands and the soldiers only the tank is uh, the finishing is not really that good so i think that's it uh please leave your comments uh click the subscribe button and thank you for watching the video